We're also learning more about who was actually getting those healthy Holly books. The Associated Black Charities ordered 10,000 copies, but only received a portion. Let's turn it over to WMAR 2 News. Skylar Henry is working on this story tonight and what he found out and how we go forward again. Skylar? Yeah, Jamie. ABC says they've chosen to no longer do any deals with any elected official. It's the latest in what's now become a rush to transparency for any group associated with Mayor Pugh's Healthy Holly books. Groups across Maryland are clearing up just how involved they were with Mayor Catherine Pugh's lucrative Healthy Holly book deal. The latest from the Associated Black Charities Organization that says they did receive a portion of the books, just not all of what they paid for. ABC's president and CEO Diane Bell McCoy, along with the board's chair Dominique Moore, released a collective statement about the group's involvement, acknowledging the group wanting to address racial health disparities among African American children, but they didn't want to allow even the perception of any wrongdoing to exist. A timeline of just their deal says ABC was introduced to Healthy Holly by then Senator Pugh. And over a five-year stretch where the group was supposed to receive 10,000 books after shelling out more than $87,000 for them, they only received 4,500. Last week, we spoke with James Cabasis, a retired chief investigator for the state prosecutor's office, who wrote a formal complaint to that very office about his concerns. What I believe she has done, she has violated the non-feasance in office knowing that she had a duty to report, she did not report, and did so for a corrupt motive. And the corrupt motive was she wanted to protect that golden goose. A golden goose that's at least landed Pew more than half a million dollars through a deal with the University of Maryland Medical Systems on a board in which she served. A ripple effect that's prompting investigations into the board's policies and that very transaction. From the governor himself, to Cabasis. Right now what they have is information, information that I provided. Their investigation is going to have to determine, is it factual? Now ABC says a board unanimously passed a resolution to never enter any business arrangement with any elected official or politically appointed person. And they also, they've res uh, returned the excess proceeds back to the original funders or to a local charity focused on child health issues. Jamie, that's about $9,000. $9,000.